Hello everyone, welcome to this video all tricks hands on questions. If you like the video, please do subscribe to my channel and even share the channel with your friends. Now let's get started with today's topic. Today we will be solving an iterative macro question. We will input a number between 2 to 100 from user. If the number is prime then we will display the number else we will display the next prime number. So let's move on to Alteryx. The first thing which we will have to do is give an input. So we'll go to the in and out toolbar and get the text input tool. Let's give in number. Let's take an example three. As we know two is a prime number. So we'll keep an exception case for two and let's give a filter to check whether the number coming out is two. connect the input to this filter tool and we'll use a basic filter num is equal to 2 now we'll set up an iteration for that let's bring in the generate rows tool okay We'll connect the numbers which are not equal to 2 to this. Let's keep it new field as row count. We initialize it at 2. So we, as we know prime number is a number which is divisible by only 1 and itself. So we'll start the loop at 2. We'll keep the row, num row count less than the number itself. And then we'll increment row is equal to row plus one. Once it's done, we will check whether it is prime or not. So let's create some formulas. Let's give this column name as check. If mod of the number which we have given second let's connect this to so that the number will come <coughs> num comma will give it the row count So if this is equal to 0, that means and the number is not equal to 1, or the number is equal to 2. Then we will output 1, else we will output 0. Let's keep it integer. <coughs> For next thing, let's bring out summarize tool here we'll keep the number and group by because it's going to enter I mean since if for 2 it will enter 1 and 2 for 3 it is 1 2 3 so we'll just group by the number and we'll do the sum of check Next would be to filter out the prime numbers. For that, we'll go to a filter tool.
let's connect this to this which is the summation keep a basic filter sum of check is equal to zero and again we'll go to this one so that that sentence gets copied and we'll add one more thing since we have to display this less than 100 right <coughs> we keep it less than or equal to 102 otherwise the loop will become infinite so if you enter 100 we display as 101 After this, we'll add an union tool because our two is left out. So in this union tool, we will add whatever the number is coming out to be prime and join it with two. So the true input of this check of 2, we will union this. For output, let's use the select tool first to enter uh, output only the number. So we'll output only the number, we'll not output a sum and check and all. And finally from the interface tool, we'll bring out a macro output and connect to this. And this is output 19. Now if it is not prime then what we have done, we have to iterate this loop, right? For that purpose, we have to find the next number. Let's bring in our formula tool. Here, we'll replace the number. So, if it is false, we'll connect to this. We'll select the number and we increment by 1. num plus 1 and then we have to enter this value in the loop again for that again we'll go to interface tool and bring in another macro output and connect it to this first of all let's configure this as an iterative macro as we've discussed earlier by default every macro comes as a standard macro we'll define it as iterative and now we'll have to do this is output 21 we'll go to view we'll go to interface designer go to properties and we will select the input okay i need to just change this one we need a macro input so the input which we have given now i'll just right click and convert to macro input now we'll go to the view tab interface under input there's one and under output we have to display 20 no yeah iteration output is 21 okay this one is the iteration output for us this is done. Now let's check this out. We can save this. As prime. So in this next one. First of all let's bring in a sample input. Because we need the user input. We write it as num and let's pass in a number called 3 again. We right click and bring the macro which is our prime. We connect this input to this one and there are two outputs. We will we need this output the top one. Let's keep the bottom one as well. But this is the iterator output so it won't return anything. To get the user input from interface tool, we'll bring in the text box. We'll enter the texture, enter number, and we'll connect it to our input. The action tool appears in the action. We'll update the first row and the first column. So as you know whenever we bring this right it converts it to a analytical app we we'll have to configure the output for this so we have the browse 7 will be the output let's go to view interface designer we'll add a label here add a label that
enter between 2 and 100. We we'll go to the setting and here we'll have to select on success. We we'll have to display the browse 7 to the user. We'll unselect it. Uh, let's try to run this. Let's enter a number 3. Click on finish. So it displays a number 3. Let's try another number 4 which is not a prime number. So it displays 5. So like this, this will be working. We can check 2 as well. And it returns 2 because 2 is also a prime number. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to this channel.